Welcome to PBS 39 Scholastic Scrimmage. Scholastic Scrimmage is brought to you by the members of PBS 39 and by... Scholastic Scrimmage is sponsored by St. Luke's University Health Network, the region's leading provider of medical education. For more than 100 years, St. Luke's has been dedicated to educating physicians, nurses, and healthcare professionals. To learn more, call St. Luke's Info Link, toll free at 866-ST-LUKES, or visit sluhn.org. And now your host, Dr. Karen Walton, Provost DeSales University. Welcome to Scholastic Scrimmage. This is the ninth contest of the 2016-2017 academic year. It's also the 43rd year that PBS 39 has brought you this academic competition. I'm Karen Walton and I'm delighted to be your host. From now until May, the best and brightest students from 30 schools will compete for the honor of being the Scholastic Scrimmage champions. At the end of the season, the two final teams will win scholarships for their schools from the Air Products Foundation. Let's meet the team from Saucon Valley High School. I'm Nicholas Morosky and I'm a freshman. I'm Kaylee Boyle and I'm a senior. I'm Michael Shafir and I'm a senior. I'm Cecilia Zimmerly and I'm a sophomore. Saucon Valley's coach is Cameron Fowler. <laughs> and now the team from Marion Catholic High School. I'm Emma McCafferty and I'm a sophomore. I'm Nolan Rarig and I'm a freshman. I'm Megan Weber and I'm a junior. Hi, I'm Jacob Bartz and I'm a sophomore. Marian Catholic's coach is Amanda Belfiore. <laughs> the judges for today's contest are Sally Campbell, retired English teacher, and Dr. Gary DeLeo, professor of physics at Lehigh University. Remember that the questions on scholastic scrimmage demand rapid recall of factual information and are not necessarily indicative of academic training. We understand the rules, so let's begin the contest with a toss-up in biology. Multiple choice. The light detecting pigment in a plant is called A, phytotrope, B, codochrome, C, phytochrome, or D, chromic acid. It's called C, phytochrome. The next toss-up is in world literature. Name the very early collection of tales with a didactic tone that includes such t titles as The Hare and the Tortoise, Zeus and the Camel, and Jupiter and the Frogs. Saucon Valley? Aesop's Tales. Aesop's Tales, uh, Mrs. Campbell, will you uh, give more, Saucon Valley, Aesop's. Nicholas, would you like to talk any more about your answer, Aesop's? Uh, Ace, uh, stories. And it will go over to Marian Catholic. Yes, um, Nolan. Aesop's fables. Aesop's fables, very close, Nicholas, good try. And for your bonus, Marian Catholic, this 17th century Frenchman also wrote fables that rank among the masterpieces of French literature. Written in poetic form, his 204 poems include stories from Greek mythology and familiar animal fables, among others. Name this writer whose theme frequently was the folly of human vanity. Nolan. Homer. It was Jean de La Fontaine. Next toss up is in physics. Describe the graph of speed versus time when acceleration is a constant. Marion Catholic? It's flat, it stays the same. Uh, it will go over to Saucon Valley. A straight line with a constant slope? It is a straight line, yes. And your bonus, paper and pencil. If the radius of a wheel is 0.5 meters, and the speed of a point on the outside of the wheel, is five meters per second. What is the magnitude of the angular velocity of the wheel in radians per second? Michael, oh, Michael, time is up. 
it is 10 radians per second. It's linear velocity divided by the radius. Toss up in world history. The rocky hill on which Jesus was said to have been crucified, called Calvary in English, is also called what? From Saucon Valley? Golgotha. From an Aramaic word, that is correct. Bonus, one term for the Old Testament means 70 in Latin and derives from a tradition that 72 Jewish scholars translated the Pentateuch, or Torah, from Hebrew into Greek for one of the Ptolemaic kings. What is the term for this version? Septuagint. Next toss up is in American literature. Name the short story by Nathaniel Hawthorne in which a man gives four venerable old friends water from the Fountain of Youth. Where? Saucon Valley. Dr. Heidegger's experiment. You are correct. Cecilia and your bonus. Later, the four friends wither and become old again. What incident precipitates this change? Michael? They broke the vase with water in it? Yes, accidentally broke the vase. Toss up in chemistry, paper and pencil. If the half-life of a certain radioactive isotope is two years, how many years would be required for 80 grams of the isotope to decay to 10 grams? Saucon Valley? Six years. Yes. Bonus, deuterium. Excuse me. Uh, deuterium is the name of one of the three isotopes of hydrogen. What are the names of the other two isotopes for five points each? Tritium and hydrogen. Tritium and Protium. He, he will accept it. He will accept your answers. Yes, he will accept your answers. Dr. DeLeo will. And your next toss-up is in U.S. geography. There are several active and dormant volcanoes in the United States. The tallest mountain in Oregon is a volcano. Name that mountain. Mount Washington. Saucon Valley. Mount Washington. It is over to Marion Catholic. Uh, let me see who responded. Uh, Marian Catholic. Mount Hood. Mount Hood is correct. Next bonus for you, Marian Catholic, is this for five points each. Mount Rainier and Mount St. Helens are volcanic peaks in what state? Washington. Nolan. Washington. Correct. And second, when Mount Katmai erupted in 1912, it was the largest volcanic eruption in the United States in the 20th century. Mount Katmai is part of the Aleutian Range in what state? Hawaii. Nolan? Hawaii. Alaska. You know the Aleutian Islands in Alaska? Toss up in U.S. history. Which of the 13 colonies was established at the head of the Narragansett Bay and was the first colony to actually legislate true religious freedom? Saucon Valley? Maryland? Mary Catholic? Megan? Rhode Island? Yes. And your bonus for five points each. Who was the founder of Rhode Island? Roger Williams in second. Name the city where he established his first settlement. Nolan? Providence. Yes. Toss up in language arts. Correct the grammatical error in the following sentence on the monitor. The firm's annual report revealed a growth in productive capacity, but that sales had dropped.
Marian Catholic. Had should be have. Goes over to Saucon Valley. Should be parallel, so it should be a drop in sales. That is correct. And your bonus um, is this. Identify the type of grammatical error in the preceding sentence. And Mrs. Campbell, should we uh, ask them to explain it or what did you, when you repeat your, your answer to the toss-up, you said, she said it should be parallel. We would, she would accept that. You answered the bonus in when you answered the, the toss-up. Good job. Congratulations for having done that. Toss-up in physics. In the SI or international system, what is the fundamental unit of force? Saucon Valley. Newton. The Newton is correct. And your bonus for five points each. In the SI system, what are the fundamental units of mass? Michael? Kilograms. Length? Meter. Meter is correct. You've got both of those parts to the bonus. Next toss up is in mathematics. Explain why the diagram on the monitor does or does not represent a function from set A to set B. Saucon Valley? Because not all of the inputs have exactly one output. You are correct. Um, you had in the domain one element that was associated with two different elements in the range. All right, and your bonus is this. Consider the function f of x is equal to 2x minus 4 on the monitor. What number has the image of 8 for the function? Michael? 6. Correct. 6 is in the domain and has the image of 8 in the range. Toss up in chemistry. Multiple choice. Which of the following ranges best indicates the wavelengths of electromagnetic radiation visible to the human eye? A, 400 to 750 micrometers. B, 400 to 750 millimeters. C, 400 to 750 picometers. Or D, 400 to 750 nanometers. Marian Catholic? D. D is correct, nanometers. And your bonus. For five points each, answer the following questions about regions of the electromagnetic spectrum. First, many insects have visual ranges that differ significantly from that of a human. Bees, for example, can perceive ultraviolet light. Is the wavelength of ultraviolet light longer or shorter than the human visible spectrum? Nolan? Shorter. Yes. Second, microwave radiation is used in kitchen appliances to heat food. Is the energy of microwave radiation greater than or less than the energy of radiation in the visible spectrum? Nolan? Greater than. It is less than. Toss up in biology, multiple choice. Which of the following structures is not directly involved with cell movement or support? Is it A, microfilaments, B, lysosomes, C, Saucon Valley? B, lysosomes. And your bonus? Lysosomes contain enzymes. What is the function of lysosomal enzymes? To... Michael? To digest things or food or nutrients in the cell? Within the cell, yes. Next toss-up is in mathematics. What is the slope of all lines perpendicular to the line defined by for x plus y is equal to 12. One fourth. Sorry. Saucon Valley? One fourth. 
You are correct, and your bonus. Solve for x, five to the two x minus one is equal to 125. Michael? Two. Is correct. It's halftime. The halftime score is Saucon Valley 135, Marion Catholic 30. In the first round, we asked the students to tell us something about a mentor or a role model. So let's begin with uh, Saucon Valley. Nicholas. My role model are my parents. Thank you. My role model is Bill Nye the Science Guy. My role model would have to be my parents. My role models are my parents as well. Thank you. Let's go over to Marian Catholic. My role model is my mother because she's helped me become who I am today. Thank you. My role model is Mrs. Teresa Shear, my algebra teacher and the studies director. My role models are my parents because they help me to do the best in all I do. My role, role models are my parents because they help me, or they help shape me to be the person I am today. Thank you all. The next toss up is in world history. Which Holy Roman Emperor divided his empire between his brother and oldest son. Charles V. British literature. This 19th century English poet, the acknowledged master of the dramatic monologue, wrote such poems as Porphyria's Lover and Andrea del Sarto. Name him. Robert Browning. Perhaps if we had asked about my last duchess, you would have gotten that correct. Next toss-up is in art. On the monitor is a famous painting entitled La Gioconda, completed during Italy's High Renaissance and displayed in the Louvre Museum. Name both its artist and its more commonly known name. Saucon Valley. The artist is Leonardo da Vinci, and the painting is Mona Lisa. Yes. Bonus. Name the artist and sculptor who produced the brooding figures of evening and dawn on the tomb of Lorenzo de Medici in Florence, Italy. Michelangelo. Toss up in chemistry. Name the second most abundant element in the universe one that is produced by stars by Saucon Valley. Helium. Thermonuclear reaction. Bonus. Identify the only radi radioactive element that occurs naturally as a gas. Michael. Radon. Yes. Next toss up is in world geography. The Sea of Marmara is an inland sea. It separates the European and Asian parts of what country? Saucon Valley. Turkey. Yes. Bonus for five points each. The Bosporus connects the Sea of Marmara with which other body of water? Michael. The Mediterranean. The Black Sea. Second. Which major city is located on the Bosporus? Michael. Istanbul. Yes. Toss up in algebra. If x minus y equals 3 and x squared minus y squared equals 12, what is the value of x plus y? Saucon Valley? Six. Marian Catholic? It's four. You have to factor that x squared minus y squared to x plus y times x minus y quantities. 
Let's go to British literature. A writer appointed to this position by the English monarch serves for life but initially was, ex initially was expected to compose commemorative verse for special state occasions. The first appointment was made by King James II in 1668. Name the position. <laughs> Poet Laureate. Toss up in language arts. An article by Patricia Folk notes, a black crawly thing with more legs than the Rockettes had staked out the north bedroom wall. There was a fauna in the freezer and a bug as shiny as patent leather had moved into the water gauge of our electric coffee maker." End of quote. What kind of scientist would this author consult to identify the bugs infesting her apartment? <laughs> Entomologist. Toss up in mathematics. Reduce the expression on the monitor to its simplest form. Time is up. Um, Nicholas, you were about to answer. It is 2x times the third root of the quantity 2x squared. Next toss up is in US history. Quote No man is good enough to govern another man without his consent. End of quote. Was stated by which president who earned the name Honest? Saugan Valley? Abraham Lincoln. Bonus? Which American civil rights leader and suffragette, who was honored by appearing on a silver dollar, alluded to Abe Lincoln's quote when she said, no man is good enough to govern any woman without her consent. Michael? Louis May Alcott. Susan B. Anthony. Susan B. Anthony, remember, on the silver dollar? Toss up in world literature. In this morality play from the 15th century, we encounter the characters confession, knowledge, discretion, strength, beauty, fellowship, kindred, goods, and others. Name the play in which you find such personifications. Every man. Biology. Name an autoimmune disease in which the immune system attacks the myelin, myelin sheath of motor nerves. Michael. Muscular dystrophy. Over to Marian Catholic. sclerosis. Toss up in U.S. history. What U.S. president was known as the rail splitter? Abraham Lincoln. Toss up in mathematics. Combine A over B minus 3 into a single fraction. Saucon Valley? A minus 3B over B. Bonus? Find the sum indicated on the monitor. Michael? 
29N over 18. Correct. U.S. Geography. Which river forms the border between Georgia and South Carolina? It's the Savannah River. American literature. While he is regarded as one of the most important American essayists, this author is also known for the popular children's books, Stuart Little and Charlotte's Web. Name him. Sagan Valley. E.B. White. Yes, and your bonus. White revised a little book by his former professor, William Strunk, Jr., which concisely stated the rules and principles of English rhetoric. Name this little book helpful to thousands of high school and college students with its 11 rules of usage, 11 principles of composition, and a few matters of form and a list of commonly misused words and expressions. Name the book. It's the elements of style. Toss up in mathematics. What percentage of 15 is 20 and round off your answer to the nearest whole number? Sagan Valley? 133%. Yes. Bonus. Paper and pencil. If one quarter quart of orange juice concentrate is needed to make orange juice for six people. How many quarts of concentrate are needed to make orange juice for 16 people? Two thirds quarts, it's proportionality us out in U.S. history. The year is 1985. Who was President of the United States? Marian Catholic. Ronald Reagan. And your bonus, name the economic program Reagan used to turn the government around to stimulate production and control inflation through tax cuts. down economics or supply side economics. The contest is over. The final score is Marian Catholic 40, Saucon Valley 220. <laughs> Our thanks to Marian Catholic for being with us. Congratulations to Saucon Valley High School. We'll see you for a second round later in the season. Thank you for watching and supporting these excellent students. Please join us next week for another contest on Scholastic Scrimmage. Scholastic Scrimmage is brought to you by the members of PBS 39 and by Scholastic Scrimmage is sponsored by St. Luke's University Health Network, the region's leading provider of medical education. For more than 100 years, St. Luke's has been dedicated to educating physicians, nurses, and healthcare professionals. To learn more, call St. Luke's Info Link, toll free at 866 St. Luke's, or visit sluhn.org.